everyone, it's Heidi from the Osborne Experience. Very excited to show to you today one of our new releases from my very favorite series that Osborne offers in our flap books. This is Lift the Flap Questions and Answers About Nature. Now we have tons and tons of books on nature, but for some reason, the um, Lift the Flap Questions and Answers is always just so spectacular, I can't even stand it. There's something about the beautiful images, the way that the questions are asked, and the questions they choose to ask in the book that just makes it really, really fun and interesting. So all of our Lift the Flap questions and answers books go over the who, what, where, why, how, and which of each of the topics. And so look at how beautiful the pictures are. We use this book as a bedtime book. You can use it whenever, but I just really, really like doing a two page spread um, each night. It depends how old your kids are. If they read to themselves, if you read to them, um, and how tired you are personally. So here's the witch and it goes over things like which trees grow the tallest. And look at how beautiful this flap is. Isn't that really cool? Um, and this one says redwood trees and it talks about the redwood trees and how tall they get. Um, which plants are these from? And it shows uh, a leaf and it shows a petal and it shows a cone. And you open it and look how cool that is. It goes over where each is from. Um, which animals left these behind? And there's tracks and there is um, wool and there's a nut from a mouse. Um, so fun. Then we have the where. Look how pretty. Um, where do foxes go in the day? Where do butterflies lay their eggs? Where can I find a tadpole? Where are seeds made? And look at all those seeds. It talks about where seeds are made. It talks about where the foxes go and their dens. Um, where can I pick wild berries? Where are you taking that nut? Where are you taking that nut? Um, where do clouds come from? I love the science behind these. Where do birds build their nests? Where are the biggest waves? Where is rock made? Look at that. <gasps> so cool. I bet you couldn't even really answer that if your kid asked you. Um, <laughs> maybe you could, sorry. I need higher expectations of us adults. Here's the why. Things such as why do animals wake at night? Why do spiders make webs? Why do rabbits have fluffy white tails? I wanna know. To confuse their enemies. When a fox chases a rabbit, it follows the white tail. But when the rabbit makes a sharp turn, the fox loses sight of the tail and the rabbit escapes. Um, why do bees make honey? Why do geese fly in a V shape? Oh. So they can use the air from the wings of the bird in front to make it easier to fly. Why do moles make hills? Why do we need worms? This one is really great for spring. Why are our beaks different shapes? And it talks about how um, bird's beaks are made for the different things that they do and eat. Why do trees lose their, lose their leaves? And why don't trees grow on tops of mountains? Then we've got what? What is this square for? How cool is that? Um, finding out what lives in an area. Uh, what is this? Ooh. And it goes over what an owl pellet is. I know a lot of homeschooling um, does owl pellet, so this book is really cool. What's the difference between a rock and a fossil? And then look how smart these flaps are. What are the different parts of a flower called? And each little flap opens to show you the different parts. So smart. What's a waggle dance? It's a dance bees do to tell other bees the way to the best flowers. The middle line shows the direction. If the bee waggles lots, it means the flowers are far away. I'm telling you girls and guys, there's so much in these books that we have no clue about. We did not learn these things in school. And that's why these books are magical, because they do. They teach your kids and you um, all those cool things that 
textbooks did not cover in school. What can I find on the seashore? What's this duck doing? Um, what's a hermit crab? And I like these. What will we be when we grow up? And it just shows you what each of these really cool creatures in nature, why can't I find the little flap thing, um, will be from frogs to nymphs um, to a, sometimes I can't say the words, signet, 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 turns into a swan. Who knew? Yes or no. So we've got, can clouds tell us about the weather? which they absolutely can't. And look, it, it shows you what each of these clouds is named and what it means in terms of weather, such as um, cirrus, cirrus clouds are dry for now. Cirro cumulus, a storm could be coming. Alto cumulus, no weather change is expected. Stratus, prepare for drizzle, so cool. Do any night animals live near me? Is the moon as big as the sun? Is there nature in cities? And again, the coolest flaps. Do you know which plants these seeds are from? And look at each little seed opens to show you um, the plant that it comes from. So fun. Do all plants grow from seeds? And look at, it shows you how to grow a pineapple from its stem. Are the stars I see at night a always the same ones can i feed a butterfly and then my arms getting tired and then the how how does a caterpillar <laughs> can't talk during these how does a caterpillar turn into a butterfly how deep is the water how high can a bird fly um, how far do rivers flow a little geography how old is this tree and it shows you um, about the circles on the insides of the trees how long are a tree's roots? How cool is that? Um, roughly twice as long as the tree's canopy is wide. Never knew that. How many leaves does a tree have? How can I grow a flower? And it goes through the steps. How many ants live in an ant's nest? And how do animals find their way? And then finally, the who. Who made these tracks? Who says twit twoo? So cute. Um, Who's been here? I love these big long flaps. Look at all those animals. Who made this? That's a potter wasp. Don't know what that is. Who digs the deepest burrow? And um, it also has how to build a bug hotel. Congratulations, parents. You will now have bugs residing in a hotel on your property. Um, I wonder if they have Airbnb for that. And then another delightful thing about these books, and where is it? I need to find it. Yes, here it is. All of these books have the Usborne Quick Links. And with the Usborne Quick Links, um, you can find out more questions and answers about nature. There's videos, there's quizzes, a lot of times there's worksheets, and you just type in the name of the book. Um, and it'll be there for you. And these books are only $14.99 for all of this goodness. Who knows what this book could draw out in your child? They may not know um, that they have a passion for nature or trees or bugs, sorry, or whatever it may be. And they get this book and you got, you got, what's, what's the bug person? I know these things. can't remember. And so I um, went around the house and I grabbed all of our um, Lift the Flap questions and answers books just to show you some of the selection and I didn't realize how many we had. That's how much I love these books. We have questions and answers about the body. So good. Questions and answers about space. This one is a personal favorite. Questions and answers about food. Questions and answers about time. Such an interesting book. Um, anything from when did people start telling time to why do some clocks have bells? Um, what did people do before clocks? Ugh, so good. Um, we have so many animal books at Usborne, so questions and answers about animals. 
And finally, in our stash, questions and answers about dinosaurs. So no matter what your child is into, has a passion for, or maybe you want them to find a passion for a certain topic, we have a questions and answers flat book for that. So you can get these books and more at my site, www.theusbornexperience.com, and you can find me, where can you find me? Well, in the kitchen, in front of the refrigerator for one. Um, but you can find me at The Usborne Experience with Heidi on Facebook. Thanks for watching.